Close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. You're training the mind, because the mind needs to be trained. If it were left to its own devices, it would just run after whatever pleasure it wants that attracts its attention without thinking about the consequences. But when you start thinking about the consequences, you realize that you have to look for long-term happiness rather than short-term. There is something to be long-term, it has to be harmless. Can't harm you, can't harm others. So you have to be very careful about how you look for your happiness, and that requires that you train the mind. Because it's so easy to just go slipping off to whatever pulls your attention away. The mind very easily gets bored, very easily gets impatient. So you have to learn how to talk to it and make sure that it knows how to listen. You talk to it about the times in the past when you've looked for happiness without being responsible. And how you regret that. You want to keep that in mind. So that the next time you're tempted to go for that kind of pleasure, you can remind yourself, well, this is what happened in the long term. Is this what you want? You're trying to develop an attitude of heedfulness and one of compunction, where you're not apathetic about the results of your actions. But this doesn't mean you have to starve the mind in the meantime. This is one of the reasons why we work with the breath. Because the breath can be made very comfortable. You can try long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep, or shallow, to see what kind of breathing feels best right now. And then you try to maintain that. You can actually develop a sense of fullness. The Buddha says you breathe in and out, sense it to fullness, breathe in and out, sense it to pleasure. It means you have to learn how to develop these feelings in the body and then learn how to maintain them by the way you breathe. So pay careful attention to your breath, how you relate to the in-breath, how you relate to the out-breath, where you squeeze them, make them uncomfortable unintentionally. But now that you're paying attention to them, you can see. And the breath becomes a lot smoother, so it's smooth in, smooth out, and smooth in between. This way the mind is more willing to listen to you when you say, go for the long term and not for the short term. So train your mind to talk to itself well, and train your mind to listen to itself when it's talking well, and not just listen to it, the shouts and murmurs of its defilements. Learn how to listen to the voice of discernment, the voice of mindfulness, that really does have your own best interest at heart.